Name of the first man in, wait for it, creation. Adam! Right, 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 right. And what color was Adam? White. White? Who says so? I never saw that in the Bible. Did you see it in the Bible? No, it doesn't say that. It says God created man in his own image, which means to be like him. So what color is God? Give me a color, people. Gold. Pink. Black. Silver. Green. Green, green. I like green. What kind of green? Pea green, sea green, grass green, olive green, emerald green, jade green, green as the dollars in American wallets, or green as the mists on the hills of Kinshasa. God green, mankind green. Yes, I like it. So what is the name of the first man in South Africa? Right, right, right. Nobody knows his name. What's the name of the first white man in South Africa? Jan van Brie. Date. History is so beautiful, it makes you cry. <laughs> Here is Holland. Here comes Jan van Riebeck in his boat, followed by lots of other boats. And they're on their way to the East Indies to fetch some spices. But they're passing South Africa and they know that they're thirsty, so they stop here for a drink. Jan says, hey, why don't I stay here and set up a refreshment stall? This way it will be here every time you pass by. Good idea. So that's what South Africa is for the whites. A gas station stop on the way to somewhere else. A Pepsi and a piece in the sun. <laughs> and it's let's go, fellas. We can stay here forever. But some of them did, right? Right. Right. The great trek of 1836. The white boys are looking north. They said, what do you see? We see great land, man, beautiful land. Anybody there? No, just a few Kaffirs sticking spears up each other's future. So what do you say we make a trek? Good idea. And what does this bring to us? Shambox, pass books, P.W. Botha, Afrikaans lessons, and... And democracy, and justice, and very, very, very fine schools. Yes. <laughs> We're so lucky. Isn't history beautiful? Yes! It's no more than rumors, but in the present climate, we must listen to everything. I've given Lieutenant Bloom my firm opinion, which is, you are a responsible teacher who would do nothing to harm the children. Am I right? Oh, yes, Principal. Mary, do you teach the children communism? No, Principal. Do you teach them violent revolution? No, Principal. Do you teach the authorized syllabus, Ms. Masumbuka? Yes. With additional material of your own? Yes. Mary? You have to follow the authorized syllabus. You know that. And what is this um, additional material? I want them to know where they come from. I want them to have a sense of pride in themselves. Black pride. If you will. You're playing with fire. Would you rather they were ashamed of themselves? i tell you what I'd rather. I'd rather they be left in peace to go to school, get an education, get a chance in life. Not get their head stuffed with crazy dreams. Like maybe one day they won't be pleased at the school? Like maybe one day we won't be afraid of each other? Mary, you're a fine teacher. I don't want to lose you. Follow the authorized syllabus from now on, please, and nothing else. Right, Principal. Somebody in this room has got the wrong idea. That person talks too much. So listen, right? I do not teach communism. I teach history. And history is a beautiful thing. Do you know why? No. Because history teaches you 
where you come from. I want you to know this. I want you to be proud of what we got right and tell the truth about what we got wrong and learn from it. Otherwise, what's the use of tomorrow? If you don't learn, all you've got is today and today and today. And you're much better than I'd be. Believe me. Believe me. Okay? Yes. The Napoleonic War. That is what the syllabus says, so that is what I teach. So, what do we learn from this? Napoleon's army, the best equipped, the best trained army, the most powerful army on the continent. Everybody says they cannot be beaten. So what happens? They're gone. Why? Were they beaten in battle? No. They were defeated by the people. They... Oh my God. People can defeat their armies. History has proved it. People can defeat the armies. You 